Embroidery Studio decorating and designing includes the simple offset tool. Found in the main toolbar, the icon looks like a target. Select the digitized object, then the icon for the property dialog box to open. In this case, I'll set a spacing at zero. Choose to create offset once and select a satin column from the list. As this object has a hole, I will select Create Offset for Holes as well. I can now change the property settings as you would any object from the color palette or the object properties list. Let's revisit the settings by clicking the main object again and then the icon. This time set the spacing at say 5mm. Choose a triple run and no offset for holes. Another great feature of the Simple Offset tool is to create a border around a group of selected objects. Select the group and an offset of say 5mm and a run stitch as a stitch type. Again we do not need to create offsets for holes. Some internal offsets are created because they are 5mm off other parts of the design. This time we don't need them, so select and delete. Imagine this design is to be stitched on a pile of fleece and you wish to lay down some of the stitches to flatten the nap of the material. Select the newly created outline and select the fill, perhaps a coil, tatami or stipple. Adjust the fill values and move to the top of the list. Even add a border to the fill using the same tool. Simple and effective. Now for the advanced outlines and offsets. This is an extra paid element in the software. The icon is a hexagon below the simple offset and is represented by a hexagon target shape. Here we have three sets of overlapping objects. I'll select the first set and the icon. Immediately you can see there are more options available. You can create outlines and offsets individually or at the same time. For simplicity, I'll turn the outlines on and the offsets off. You can see there are three overlap methods. The first will create a full set of outlines. As you can see, there is a good selection of stitch types to choose from, and you can select the column width and color of the outline. The result is the first object is stitched, followed by a border. Then the second object and its border, and the third object followed by a third border. So lots of thread trims and some wasted stitches. The second option is to create a single perimeter outline with no separating outline between the objects where they overlap. And the third option will intelligently cut out all outline overlaps and weld each to eliminate any thread trims. Of course the obvious question here is how to remove the overlaps from the main objects. Select the object you wish to use as a cutter and from the arrange toolbar select remove overlaps. You can determine the overlap distance and the minimum size of any fragment that may be left by the cut.